What if you could find a rare collectible car or a muscle car that's a great daily driver or a restored classic car that are all not only affordable but very fun to drive? Then I think I've found for you 10 such great cars in tonight's video. So let's get into the video. Check them out. Hello American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon and in tonight's video I found for you guys and gals out there 10 very affordable classic cars that are not only fun to own, they're fun to drive. In tonight's episode we're going up to the great state of Ohio where I found so many classic cars priced so reasonably I couldn't get them all in tonight's video. So without further ado, let's get into the video and check out number one. 1951 Chevrolet Styline listed in Shadyside, Ohio for $9,000. Check out this unique customized 1951 Chevy Styline two-door sedan that's up for sale and it's in a striking blue with flame combination paint scheme. This vintage beauty is powered by a 350 Chevy engine and a 350 automatic transmission and not only runs and drives great, but it's a real head turner. This car has only a low 1,356 miles on the motor since the engine upgrade. The upgrade also included a custom dark blue paint job with flames, a reupholstered interior with custom blue velour and leather, and all chrome and glass are in great condition. All electrical components work perfectly, and the owner has recently added new tires for a smooth ride. The owner needs to sell to finance other projects, and is asking for a very reasonable $9,000 or best offer for this amazing customized 1951 Chevy Styline two-door sedan. Serious inquiries only, and it comes with a clean title. So there you go, guys and gals. There's your first one up for the night. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think it's pretty sharp. I love Chevy's this model. My dad used to drive a 52, so I'm kind of partial to this one. But let me know what you guys think. Just a real quick reminder here. If you see a car or a truck in this video tonight that you would like to check out, then all you've got to do is go over to this video's description, click on the word more, and when the description expands downward, find the car that you're looking for, click on the link underneath that car, and it should take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale unless it's already sold. Number two, 1963 AMC Rambler Classic 500, listed a day ago in New Lebanon, Ohio for $5,500. Up for sale is this sporty black 1963 AMC Rambler Classic 500 two-door coupe with an original 83,000 miles on it. It is powered by the original six-cylinder engine with three-speed manual transmission and it runs and drives really great. It just recently received a fresh tune-up, new tires, new battery, and a recent black repaint. This is a rust-free super straight body with solid floor pans and a solid trunk area. All glass is good and everything electrical works as it should, except for the radio. The interior seats, although very comfortable for use as a daily driver, do need re-upholstering or drive it as is. All of the chrome is in good condition and displays well, and a sporty little car would definitely turn heads when you're out and about in it. The seller is asking a very low $5,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. I think this is one of the probably sharpest little ramblers I've had on the video in the past week or two. Let me know what you think. Number three, 1929 Model A two-door, listed in Avon, Ohio for $10,500. Up for sale by the third owner is a fully restored two-toned green and black 1929 Ford Model A two-door. This is a very fun car to drive and it runs very good, but sometimes she's temperamental when starting up. This is an older restoration in which everything was repaired, replaced, or repainted with the exception of the headliner, which is still original. 
The current owner of this car has had it ever since 1993 after receiving it from his dad, who purchased the car in 1980 from the original owner. The seller still has all the original paperwork about the car to go with it. The current owner will try and drive this car at least once or twice a week to keep it up, and sometimes he'll put it in a parade or two for fun. It always draws a crowd whenever it is out and about, and will make someone a proud owner of a very nice 1929 Ford Model A two-door. The seller's asking a very reasonable $10,500 or best offer, and it does come with a clean title. Number 4. 1953 Ford Custom Line Sedan. Listed in Dayton, Ohio, and marked down from $11,500 to $10,500. For sale by the third owner is this all-original gray 1953 Ford Custom Line Sedan with an original 87,500 miles. It is powered by the original flathead V8 with factory overdrive and manual transmission that allows you to cruise at 70 miles per hour with no problem. This was the last year for the flathead V8, and this car is all period and era correct. The only modern touch on this car is an Optima battery, but it is 6 volt, as with the system still being on 6 volts as well. The original paint on this car looks incredible for its age, but does have a few very minor spots or paint bubbles along the edge. The original gray interior looks fantastic for its age and is very comfortable to ride in. This car drives smoothly down the road, and everything electrical works except the dash lights and the odometer. One hood hinge is broken, but the seller currently props it open with a stick. The seller is asking a very reasonable $10,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Number 5, 1966 Chrysler 300 Convertible, listed in Uniontown, Ohio, for $12,000. Offering up for sale is this beautiful blue 1966 Chrysler 300 convertible that runs and drives very well. It is powered by the original big block 383 engine with automatic transmission, and this is an all-numbers matching car that will turn heads wherever you take it. A lot of new parts and upgrades have been added, including a new radiator, new fuel tank, new starter, new carburetor, and lots of extra parts to go with it. This car has been well maintained and garage kept all of its life and is very evident in the body condition and the very nice condition of the original black interior which looks incredible. All glass is good, all chrome shines well and the original paint still displays very nicely. This car has solid floor pans and solid trunk area and very little rust if any and will make someone a very excellent summer cruiser. Take this car out on the outing and everyone will want to ride in it. The seller is asking $12,000 or best offer. And it comes with a clean title. Okay, we've passed the halfway mark. Let's check out number six. 1963 Corvair Monza. Listed in North Lawrence, Ohio for $8,500. Up for sale is this beautiful blue 1963 Corvair Monza that has had a very thorough mechanical restoration done on it. And it runs and drives great. It is powered by the original engine and automatic transmission and will take you anywhere you want to go. It has recently had new brakes, new tires, and new engine seals installed and was just driven to Detroit and North Carolina. The original blue paint displays well for its age and is of driver quality. There is some light surface rust but no rot anywhere on the body. The interior displays well and is a driver friendly but could use a restoration or drive as is. Lots of other work and new parts have gone into this car, including new wheel cylinders, new master cylinder, new hoses, new steel lines where necessary, a new gas tank, a new sending unit, and the rear end has been rebuilt. Way much more work, too much to list here, has been done, but you can jump in this car and drive it anywhere. The seller is asking a very low $8,500 or best offer, and it does come with a clean title. So guys, here's one I think that will be both economical, be fun to drive. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. In today's feature, it came from the internet. This one's not for sale, but it was so wild and crazy, I had to display it for you guys anyway. This is a 1927 Diamond School Bus. 
can turn into a rat rod cruiser. I think it's just totally awesome. Let me know guys what you think about it in the comments. If you like this type of car, go ahead and hit the like button. That way it'll let me know maybe to feature more of these type of cars in the segment called It Came From The Internet. Now, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these videos drop so that you'll have the earliest chance possible to try and check out these cars that are up for sale. Number 7. 1958 Ford Fairlane 500 two-door. Listed in Brook Park, Ohio for $10,000. For sale is a classic two-toned green and white 1958 Ford Fairlane 500 two-door hardtop. It has an original 126,000 miles on it and it runs and drives great but does need some brake work to be roadworthy. There is a video available in the ad showing the owner driving it. It is powered by the original V8 engine and automatic transmission. It received a mild restoration about 10 years ago and has been garage kept ever since. The green and white paint scheme over a solid, straight, rust-free body still looks incredible. The matching green and white leather interior is very nice, very comfortable, and really enhances the overall look of the 58 Ford. You could not restore this type of car for the very low asking price of $10,000 firm, and it comes with a clean title. So guys, let me know what you think about this one. I think this one is probably the nicest one in the video tonight. Would love to own this car. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Number 8. 1962 Ford Thunderbird Sport Coupe 2-door listed in Covington, Ohio for $9,000. For sale is a well-maintained gold 1962 Ford Thunderbird with 114,000 original miles. It runs and drives great, powered by the original 390 engine and automatic transmission. The original gold paint on the rust-free solid body still looks fantastic and the original black interior is in amazing condition for its age and is very comfortable. All the glass and lights are in good shape and everything works as it should. The Thunderbirds of these years makes and models have become highly sought after and this one is priced at $9,000 or best offer making it a great low cost starting point for owning an original 1962 Ford Thunderbird. This makes for a great daily driver or to take and display at shows, always guaranteed to draw a crowd. The seller is open to trades and the car comes with a clean title, asking $9,000 or best offer. We still have two more vehicles to showcase tonight, but if you haven't found the car or truck of your dreams by the end of this video, I recommend checking out the other four videos that we released this past week. There are still a lot of great classic cars and trucks for sale in those videos. And who knows, you just might find your classic dream car or truck in one of these videos. Now, number nine's automobile is not only rare, but is a barn find and is priced so low. I just had to showcase it for you guys and gals out there tonight. 1925 Ford Model T two-door sedan. listed in Troy, Ohio for $7,500. For sale is an extremely rare barn find, a black 1925 Ford Model T two-door sedan. This car is in 100% original condition and has great potential. It still has the original black paint over a very solid and straight body, and from the pictures you can see that it has always been dry kept, sheltered, and out of the weather. The original interior needs a total restoration, but it is all complete with nothing missing. All glass is in good shape, and all electrical wiring seems solid. It was taken out of storage two years ago, ran and driven, but has not been fired up since. The seller purchased it with the intent of restoring it, but has not had the time to do so. They would like someone else to own it and enjoy it. It comes with a clean title. To sell it quickly, the seller is asking for a low price of $7,500 or best offer, and only serious inquiries are welcome. Now I've got to say with number 10, it is my favorite of all the cars in tonight's video. You can let me know if it's yours as well. 1976 Mustang II Cobra II, listed in Smithville, Ohio for $8,500. For sale is a 
Up for sale is this blue with white stripes 1976 Mustang II Cobra II with an original 76,000 miles on it. This car is powered by the original 2.8 V6 engine with a 4-speed manual transmission. Although not mint condition due to being nearly 50 years old, it is all original and still looks very nice for its age. This Mustang II Cobra II runs and drives great without any issue, and it's a great little head turner. There are some minor aging spots and some very minor damage to the driver door, but other than that, the body is solid, rust-free, and in great condition. This car has been well maintained and garage kept nearly all of its life, and the original white interior looks really good for its age. This type of car was made famous by Fair Fawcett, who portrayed Jill Monroe on the original Charlie's Angels television series and drove a 1976 Ford Mustang II Cobra II on that show. You can own this one at a very low asking price of only $8,500 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Let me know what you think about this one, guys. I love Fair Fawcett. Real quick reminder here, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified when our American Rod Shop Fun Night video number 5 drops later this week. We always have a lot of fun during that video. We do giveaways, trivia, we have the fantasy demo derbies. It'll be a lot of fun for everybody and we always have a good time. Please join us that night. And if you're looking for a great gift item, don't forget to check out the American Rod Shop store. The link is in the description. There you can find great t-shirts, mugs, and a lot of other great items. The sale of these items all goes back into supporting this channel. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I love you all. I'll see you guys and gals in the next upcoming video.